Hello and welcome back to Financial Madness where we look at all things personal finance. Today is going to be a short video because in this week's Government Spring Budget, Jeremy Hunt, our Chancellor of the Exchequer, announced plans of a new UK ISA. Let's go through all the things you need to know. I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. Wow. Of course, as I've already mentioned, a new ISA focused on investing in UK businesses will soon be made available to UK investors. This came as one of many announcements in the 2024 spring budget, which occurred this Wednesday just past. As a quick recap, an ISA or individual savings account are types of accounts available in the UK that allows individuals to save or invest their money in. Why these accounts are so popular? That's because the main benefit of an ISA is that you don't have to pay any tax on any of the interest, dividend or capital gains earned. Now there are several types of ISAs within the ISA family and they include cash ISAs, stocks and shares ISAs, innovative finance ISAs, lifetime ISAs, junior ISAs, and now they have one more to add to the list, the UK ISA. Each type of ISA has its own rules and limits on how much you can save or invest each year and what that money can be used for. If you want to learn more about each ISA type, I've created this special ISA playlist right here for you to check out. The current allowance an individual can invest in an ISA is £20,000 per tax year. So now going back to this new UK ISA. Now one of the key things to note from this is that it comes with its own separate allowance of £5,000 on top of the existing £20,000. So it's not like the lifetime ISA where there is an allowance of £4,000 but that makes up part of the £20,000 allowance. This is a full on separate allowance which would allow investors to save up to £25,000 in the ISA tax-free wrapper. You know what else is tax-free? Subscribing to this channel. Currently, the UK ISA is still under consultation and there is no clear date of when it will be made available or what types of products will be included. Will it be investing in UK specific shares or UK focused funds and trusts, UK gilts, UK corporate bonds, or a mixture of the lot? The consultation paper, which I'll link down below, used the previous Personal Equity Plan Scheme, or PEPS, as the starting point when designing the UK ISA. These were an investment product that ended up being replaced by ISAs back in 1999. PEPS provided tax incentives for investing in stocks and shares both UK and overseas, so very much like the ISA family in general. The introduction of the UK ISA shows the government are trying to encourage investment within the UK stock market, which has been dwindling since the vote to leave the EU back in 2016. In 2023, the FTSE 100, which represents the 100 largest companies on the London Stock Exchange, only grew by 9%, which when you compare this performance to similar indexes to our fellow neighbours, the performance is quite poor. US's S&P 500 returned a 21% growth, the Eurozone's Euro Stocks 50 returned 22, and the Topics Index in Japan was up by 14%. Cool, so that is it for this week's video. I told you it was going to be a short one. I just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. Let me know what your thoughts are on the UK ISA, and if you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And remember to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.